Hi, I'm Claudia Cohen. I'm a member of Martin Luther King Jr. Association. I'm also the convener of something called ARC, the Anti-Racism Community Collaborative. Uh, members of MLK Jr. along with uh, a neighboring anti-racism organization, Social Justice Matters, created ARC in order to uh, be able to offer initiatives that were more complex and hopefully more impactful than we could do alone. One such initiative is Dialogue Circles on Race. We've offered Dialogue Circles on Race for the last two years, uh, and these circles are designed to be a safe and welcoming space for talking about race and racism. That's normally very uncomfortable for most people. Uh, for white folks, they may fear being judged racist, for black people, people of color, they may fear being harmed by the ignorance or misconceptions of white participants in discussions. So the way we organize it is to have small groups that meet uh, two hours a week for five weeks. They're led by trained facilitators who provide readings. This uh, reading list in includes both history and social commentary and analysis. and it emphasizes materials that most of us were not taught in school and can be very eye-opening. Why do we call them dialogues? Well, in normal discussions or debates, people are often focused on their image. Uh, they want to make a point or show off their knowledge. But in dialogues, we encourage participants to listen, to listen to the stories of others without judgment, but also to share their own truths. And we create a space that is safe for that. However, it's not always comfortable because learning requires change and change is by its very nature uncomfortable. And yet, for truths about race and structural racism to be learned and faced, especially by we, white people, we must experience that discomfort. In order to create the future that we long for, what Dr. King called the beloved community, we need to be in dialogue. So if you'd like to hear more about Dialogue Circles, I invite, invite you to listen to some recent uh, participants talking about their experiences. Hi, my name is Amy Root, and I've been a member of Westfield's Board of Education since 2016. I signed up for Dialogue Circles two years ago because I knew I lacked the fluency to discuss topics of race without feeling awkward. And particularly since I have a role in what children learn in our schools, I felt it was important to confront my ignorance and know better to do better. Dialogue Circles introduced me to authors and ideas that revealed how much I didn't know about the history of racism and oppression in America, and also showed me that getting past discomfort is vital to creating the change our country needs. Dialogue Circles offered me an opportunity to explore my personal racial attitudes, as well as our historic, national, systemic racism. We have a lot to uncover on our way to true justice and peace. I need conversations like Dialogue Circles. Perhaps we all do. My name is Alice Dillon, and I am a member of the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Association of Westfield. COVID-19 has been for me a time of introspection. The media was full of breaking news about the deaths of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and Black Lives Matters protests. It was getting very distressing. Excellent books concerning issues of race were and are plentiful, but to me, it seemed an impossibility as a white person to be a source of any kind of change. I decided to attend Dialogue Circles on Race and found my answer. I had much to learn, not only about myself, especially my archaic attitudes and my lack of awareness about white privilege, but also about how complicated the lives of people of color are and how full of fear some of them are on a daily basis the carefully selected readings and resources for each week opened my eyes and prepared me for the coming week's dialogue. Though sometimes painful, listening and sharing in dialogue led me to a new direction, giving me hope 
for being part of the solution instead of part of the problem. So if you'd like to be notified when enrollment uh, opens again for Dialogue Circles on Race, please send an email with your uh, reach information to the address that's on the screen below, and we'll put you on our mailing list.